I arrived yesterday morning from um, from Sydney, so it was a it was like twenty something hours of flying, and uh, I got here at I, don't know, I think it was like seven thirty in the morning, and I didn't have anything to do yesterday, so I thought I'm in Switzerland. I need to get up in the mountains and and feel it a bit. So um, yeah, we went up to Mount Pilatus on the train. It was amazing. Like living in Switzerland, you have the mountains, so you have, there is always a relationship with the mountains. You know, whether that is, whether in that relationship means that you, you, you go to the mountains or you, you look at them and you stay down low, but there's always a relationship with them. So when you grow up in Australia on the coast, you have a relationship with the ocean. And as a young, as a, you know, as a, as a sort of, as a boy really, I developed a fascination for the ocean. I was terrified of it and I was also really excited by it. Oh. I'll surf that one day. You dare me? I dare you to dare me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, I guess. No, no, it was... Uh, it was something that, that there's a few things in life that you realize at a certain point that you really want to do and there's only one way to do it is to actually throw yourself off the cliff and commit to doing it and and um, I've always wanted to direct a film and I kind of worked away um, at a career as an actor and always kept in mind that there was there was sort of behind that that image and that idea of who I was um, was this burning desire to connect more with the craft of, of filmmaking and, and, and direct and be more involved in the process. I'm thinking the fishing on Saturday if you want to come, mate. Probably going to go out to the beach with Lee. What would you do if she put a hand in your pocket? Why would she? I don't know. See what you could find. They're masters, all of those guys that you mentioned. Um, but in, in truth, you, you learn as much from those that are inexperienced as you do from those that are experienced. Ma Marty Scorsese is a phenomenal teacher, uh, just as a person. Um, he's, he's, like, he's like a mentor to almost anyone that's interested. And he's, he's quite fan fascinating like that. But you, you if, for me, I was always I, I, was, I never felt settled and comfortable just as an actor and I was always curious so I studied in the sense of just watching um, and soaking up like a sponge anything that I could not just from directors but also from cinematographers and editors and anyone within the process and, and then obviously you, you feel that you have enough you get to a point where you feel that you have enough knowledge and awareness and confidence to throw yourself into making a film and and you realise how little you do know, and 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 then you you know you surround yourself with good people, and you learn you keep learning from them, and that's what's fun. It's there's there's pure creativity in it, but there's nothing really tangible in filmmaking. It's not it's not tangible. You you whatever you make, you sort of you give away, and it becomes everyone else's. I'd been through such a process uh, in the development, and in, you know, in in the couple of, a year of casting for the two boys, the two leads, eight weeks of prep with um, you know my cinematographers and and my first AD and production designer and stuff, scouting. So I felt very very prepared. Um, you know, in the sense that as much, you know, when you're working with non-actors and you, most of the, set, the live sets and, and you've got, you're in amongst nature, as prepared as you can be in the sense that you have to be flexible all the time anyway. And, um, but I, I felt really energised and, and excited about it.
Well, that's it. You sort of have to have that kind of commitment. You know, there's a lot of similarities and I've always sort of said it, even with acting to surfing for me, I've grown up surfing and there is this sort of, there is, as the character talks about, that sort of moment of, of surrender, of letting go and, and of committing completely to something. And, and um, that's pretty much what... That, that the purity of that is really what excites me about about uh, acting and filmmaking in a, in a greater extent because there's just more to work with as a film as a director a lot more phenomenal I mean sad but you know, we shot in um, 36 days and we had an impossible schedule and we were reliant on Mother Nature providing the waves and the wind direction to stay all the same way. And we ended up finishing at five o'clock on the last day that we were meant to sh finish on. And I don't know how we did it, but it just happened that way. I, I still remember the last shot of the whole movie and it, when we were shooting and it was, I, sh I, it was, I was operating and it was, it was um, the Eva character in the shower. And it was, there was what they were calling a 50 year storm happening outside uh, on that location. We, we were shooting that day on the location in the house. And then we had a little shower for a house next, from a house next door that we ran up to shoot in the shower. And um, you wouldn't have known it at the time, but there was a 50 year storm taking place outside. It was the, the set. The Sando house, my character's house that we'd built, we built that. That thing was almost lifting up and moving. The wind was that strong. What do you reckon? Hippies. That's what I reckon. I could tell she liked me. What? She would look at me with that special look. She wasn't looking at anything. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um... It's going to be an interesting process from now to my next first day of shooting because I, I really the challenge is going to be finding something that uh, that I want to throw myself completely into and and having done breath to to try to do something that is different and as exciting for me. There's fear in all of us. I know that now. It's how you live with it that makes you who you are. Mm -hmm.